Hey, welcome back, guys. So we are the sixth part of this series. So uh, uh, we have already prepared the simple cube movement for this cube in the previous video for our cube game. So uh, in the previous video, there was no ways so that we can uh, make this game over or end this game because this is gonna be an endless run. So there should be a way when you uh, die or uh, you blast or something else. Uh, what you sh there should be a way when this game should over. So. Uh, for that we are gonna make this inside this video. So in the previous video I had just uh, used the terrain as a ground But in this video, I'm just gonna ma make a platform to be used as a ground So I'm just gonna uh, create a plane which is a uh, plane would be simply look like this I'm just gonna uh, orthographic top view and uh, Move this plane to be the cube should be the center of this plane and on the z-axis I'm just gonna increase the okay not scale we are just gonna increase the uh, scale to be like uh, 2000. I guess 2000 is a great distance. Cause for now we are not gonna make it to be infinite or random. Cause it is uh, highly coding stuff. So I'm just gonna make it to be something long enough platform to that it could work for now. So this plane has already a collider mesh collider plane. So there there is no problem with this plane uh, as a collider. I'm just gonna make a simple material for this cube where I have created material uh, for this cube and I'm just gonna create a material for this uh, platform. I'm just gonna name it platform and drag this orbital texture and mark this normal texture to be the normal map, apply and then again add this platform to be the normal map. And yeah, and I'm just gonna drag and drop this and this is really stretch the structure because uh, we have uh, we should add a tiling to this texture so that texture should look fine So I'm just gonna make it to be 2000 I guess 2000 is a great value and just like that the platform is looking completely fine So now when you hit play, I guess this should work uh, Really fine and yeah, you can see that the cube movement is working really fine to be jumping really fine uh, Although it is very high value, but yeah cube is moving on the axis and cube is jumping we can have a movement but when you drop off this plane we are just not gonna use this plane cause uh, it is just uh, disappeared so when you drop off this plane nothing is really happen just cube uh, infinitely fall off from this plane so I am not gonna use this plane I am just uh, use this to show you how could things work I am just gonna increase this again to be 2000 oh sorry uh, scale to be 2000 on z-axis and increase the scale uh, by uh, on the top view moving this right here and increasing scale something around this so I guess this should work completely fine so you should check the scale 9 by 200 uh, I guess 9 by 200 uh, yeah cube is almost I'm just gonna make this to be 0 at 0 height so I'm just gonna uh, add this texture but still this texture is not uh, applied that much good because uh, the length of this cube is 200, it's gonna make it to be 2000. And yeah, this show, this is uh, scale on x is 9, so I'm just gonna make it also 9. So I think still it looking pretty huge, so I'm just gonna make this 500, and I guess this should be 3. Mm, yeah, I think this is looking completely fine. So I've just added a cube. Because when you fall down, uh, we do not want to the ground to be disappears just like that. So now when you fall down, you can see the ground top on this cube. So I'm just gonna uh, name this. Okay, I'm really bad at creating spellings. So I'm just gonna duplicate this by right click and here's the option called duplicate. So uh, move this platform down. We're just gonna use this platform as a lava, but with this we are gonna make this scale also to be 2000 so that it is also infinite uh, okay 2000 sorry uh, we are just gonna make this to be 2000 so that it looks completely infinite so I'm just gonna create a new material I'm just calling it a uh, lava cause I'm just making this ground to be a lava and when you fall off this lava or on this lava you will just like that you will die so uh, for now, I'm just gonna create a lava material and add it on lava and change the material color to be look something like lava and adding an emission for this, you can learn about the material in our uh, another video, I'm gonna make it video on that, but yeah, 
just like that it is looking completely brighter and it's looking uh, something like a lava not exactly a lava but yeah it's looking completely like something like a lava so i'm just gonna name this to be a lava so uh, we are you uh, we are going to use this tag which uh, have tag respawn finish editor on your whatever tag we have we are just gonna in, uh, use this tag to uh, game uh, making the game over so uh, you, uh, I have prepared already a tag called lava you can just go to add tag and add this tag and name whatever tag and you can just add this here write that so I have just named it lava and now when you fall off this the game should over so how could we possibly know if this cube has been collided with this so with this box collider when uh, there is a boolean called is triggered when you check this so the, with this checking you can check if this box has been collided with this lava or not so i'm just gonna create a uh, new script and just name it game manager okay uh, so we cannot name this a game manager because game manager is a default script made by unity so i'm just gonna name it collider cube okay and to be uh, this cube is a player for our game uh, so we have to just uh, tag it also a player so i'm just gonna i have already tagged this as a player you can have this tag right here defaulted by the unity so i'm just gonna add this cube uh, collider cube script on this lava and just like that you can just double click this lava on uh, this script and open it inside the unity so uh, if this uh, just like that the script will open inside the unity so uh, here uh, yeah here you can see that uh, we have this script and if you want to get a uh, if object is colliding with another object we have the void called void on trigger enter collider order just like that just today has been completed the statement for us so this is a uh, function def uh, defaulted by unity you should write just like this you cannot change uh, another word or uh, another thing inside this you have to written just like this so other is a collider so here other is a collider so we are gonna we are just gonna check if this cube collide with this lava so we have uh, added this script on this lava so we are just gonna make uh, get a reference for this tag called player so if we are just gonna create a if statement and if other dot tag is equal to player so if uh, we collide with a uh, body called a tag with the player with this lava we just have to switch this off because when we switch this off inside the game window we can see that no cameras are rendered and when this switch on you can see the cube and when this switch off uh, this is this pop-up comes up so uh, i'm just going to use this as a game over window for now but we will prepare uh, something else in the next video because we are in the whatever we are gonna prepare it in the next video so uh, if you fall uh, down this lava uh, we just have to turn this cube off so it is very simple to turn this boolean off it's like go back to the visual studio code and um, other which is collider dot game object game object which is collider containing the game object which is the cube is a game object here other dot game object dot set active which is uh, this boolean which is set active and it should be false sorry in not bracket it is is equal to false and complete the statement and head back to unity so yeah we have just get the the error called end of the file exception so i'm just gonna get back to the script and yeah we have extra curly bracket here going on so i'm just gonna go back here so game object uh, game object and no accessible oh, okay sorry uh, we have to use this g to be small because we are referencing it so um, set active uh, because it a method group uh, was cannot assign to set active because it's a method group i don't know why the hell is we are getting this kind of lags uh sorry whatever you can see 
I guess it's inside the bracket. False. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that as a bracket you can true or false. We are just gonna shut it down. So it's taking its time to load up the script. So just like that, this error has been gone. And now when you hit play, now you can see that if you move down this and fall off this lava, the pop-up came out display, no camera, that rendering, and this cube has been shut down. Now when we switch this on, this is not gonna be on cause uh, it is falling completely falling through this uh, script. So I'm just gonna create a new pop-up called uh, uh, create a new UI. Uh, the UI can be created here. I'm just gonna create the UI and panel. So just like that a panel called this like this panel will be created upon this. So inside this panel I'm just gonna make this alpha to be uh, infinite and make this color to be black and um, make this panel to be completely stretched with the game window so we are just going to getting this lags because we are using this background uh, if you don't use any kind of background like none sorry none then no uh, there is nothing behind the uh, yeah this pop-up so i'm just going to make this pop-up to ui and uh, uh, text which is text mesh pro i'm just not going to import this for now i'm just going to delete this and inside the panel, we're gonna uh, add a new text which is not that high quality text because it is not text mess pro. Um, yeah, just like that, uh, there is a text pop up, and I'm just gonna uh, name it a game over. So uh, make this font size to be like uh, 60. You know, 60 is pretty huge amount. Font size 50. I'm just gonna focus on this. So uh, we have to scale it down by uh, going here and clicking this and press Alt to just scale it on this like this. So we have pop up like this game over and uh, we can add a button uh, to be retry. So uh, we are just not going to go with the retry button. So we are just going to go with this pop up. And if we shut this pop up down, we can see the cube moving here. And if this uh, the pop up will came out just like that. So we just have to switch this um, pop-up on with the script. So we are just gonna need a reference to be public game object. Uh, so inside script, uh, uh, I'm just gonna make a new component uh, reference for the component, which is game object and the name it UI. So simply I'm just gonna name it UI uh, or UI image. Just gonna name it UI image and instead of using this other uh, dot game object you can set this also false and ui image dot set uh, it is already a game object so we don't need to use this game object and this to be true and complete the statement and go back to unity and the script will take its time to reload up and now when you hit display now when you hit display and fall off this ground and fall into the lava the okay we haven't assigned the really assigned this canvas which is game object we have just dragged this drop inside the ui image and now when you hit play we have the moment uh, moment of this cube we can space to jump off and by mistake if you fall down this you will fall on the lava and just like that we are getting a pop-up called no camera rendering and beside this pop-up if we uh, shut this cube down you can see this a uh, game over so i guess this is pretty much for this video if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh, share this video or uh, to the other gamers you want to uh, who have interested in the game development so i guess this is it for this video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye